everybody, Chris the Old Ass Retro Gamer here. Uh, today I'm going to do a video where I review another game from my past. Um, that game I'm going to review today is a, another NES game uh, called Dragon Spirit The New Legend by Bandai. So my history with it is, back when me and my brother first got our Nintendo, um, it was pretty late in the cycle. I want to say it was in 1989, maybe early 1990, could be. Um, and by then there was you know a lot of great games that had already come and gone, um, and we played most of them at our friends' houses and whatnot. And when we had gotten the system, my grandmother was like, "I'll take you guys out to you know get each of you a new game," and we did. And my brother picked this game, Dragon Spirit. I do believe I picked Gremlins 2, I want to say. I think I picked Gremlins 2, which turned out to be an amazing game. That's still one of my favorite games of all time. One of the few um, games for the Nintendo that was based on a movie that didn't suck. So this Dragon Spirit game my brother bought because it had a dragon in it, and my brother was kind of into that kind of stuff back then, sort of, a little bit. He was tending towards the fantasy stuff at the time. And we brought it back to my grandma's place, plugged it in, and I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I was not a big shooter fan back then, and it turns out it's a top-down shooter where you play as a dragon. And when you get power-ups, your dragon sprouts more heads and gives you more... Uh, uh, firing power sometimes it gives you like you can get three heads I think at one point and you got like three you know fireballs shooting out of your mouth at the same time and it's just I didn't like shooters I thought and I, I wasn't really into fantasy back then so like the idea of like playing as like a, a dragon in this way it was just I thought it was dumb I was like if you're gonna play a game like this it should be a spaceship you know and I just I couldn't stand it I just didn't like it my brother was kind of like it's okay but then again I think we played it for a few days and after that we never really played it again uh, but, like I said, my tastes have changed significantly since then. So, I found a copy of it on eBay pretty cheap a while back. And I was just kind of like, if it sucks, if I still think it sucks, you know, like, I only paid, like, what, $11, $12 for it complete in box. So, I was like, it's, not no, it's no big loss. Um, it's just one added to, add to the collection then. So, the game comes in the mail, and I'm like, all right, let's... Check it out, see if my thoughts in it, uh, you know, about it have changed. So I plug it in, and here's my review. Okay, so if you let the um, title screen linger for a bit, you'll get this story set up. Although it doesn't really make any sense because it's like you have like no context as to what's going on. It's confusing. They're talking about characters. You're like, huh? Who? What? What? New Dragon Legends ready to begin? What? Um, and once you start the game you get this story scroll that makes that even worse, <laughs> as far as I was concerned. So once you actually start and you get thrown right into the game, well, it's just go, attack, kill, kill, kill. And then this is about the point where I realized that this game was doing something very different than most games. And that is, this opening level is actually the difficulty selection. Basically, you're thrown into the, the, the game, this the final battle with this boss, and um, depending on how well you do, if you die or not, or if you actually manage to kill the boss successfully, you either go to easy mode or hard mode. So you'll see here, I die. I get killed pretty quick, because that was the first time I played this game in forever, and I didn't know what I was doing, and I got... I got spanked right off the bat. So when you die, you get this little bit of the story that's different from if you were to win, and you get the gold dragon, which equals easy mode. So I played through most of some of the game as the dragon, not realizing what had happened. And then as I got kind of far into the game and I, and I got spanked again, I was like, you know what? I wonder what happens if I beat that guy at the beginning instead of getting killed. Now that I know how the game works, maybe I should start over. And I did. And I beat the, the, the first boss. And it changes the story. Um, and you unlock the blue dragon, which is the dragon you start off the game as in that first uh, selection level. And that is hard mode, or normal mode. And I was like, "God, wow, that is actually really freaking creative. I wish more games would do stuff like that, where instead of giving you just the selection at the beginning of the game, do you want to play, you know, easy, normal, hard, or 
insane brain melting uh, difficulty you know you play like a, a level that just gauges what your difficulty is and then puts you in the correct difficulty you know based on what your skill level is like which and, and then it's awesome that's really really creative and bandai goddamn you guys did something really really cool outside of that the game is like a standard top-down shooter but instead of as a, you playing as a spaceship you play as this dragon and there are power-ups that you get from flashing enemies and you have two different types of attacks. You have a standard fireball, which takes out the aerial enemies, and then you have like a bomb, which I think is like you spit fire. Because I spit hot fire. And it takes out the enemies on the ground. And there's power up. I call, I keep calling them jelly beans. They look like, there's like blue and red jelly beans that'll give you power ups on the ground too, that you can bomb and they'll unleash a power up that. And the power ups in this game are pretty badass. I mean, like you get one that, um, that uh, gives you an extra head, that gives you more firepower. Uh, so instead of shooting one fireball or fireball, you'll shoot two, sometimes three, depending. Um, some will give you, um, you'll still have the same head, but your dragon's color will change, and you will be able to shoot in like two directions and sometimes three directions. Um, you'll get two little dragon uh, like options from Gradius. These things like actually gives you like a, a much wider arc of fire, which is pretty rad. Although the enemies aren't anything to, to scream about, you know, they don't look like the most original things ever. I mean, they the, the game itself is not all that difficult, depending if you are the... I mean, even if as the blue dragon, it's not all that hard. It's, it, there's not like, it's not a bullet hail shooter. There's not crazy, crazy amounts of stuff flying at you. Um, as long as you are paying attention to what's going on on the screen, you should be able to do pretty well. I'm not going to kiss its ass because, honestly, this one is pretty much all about the gameplay. Some levels look really cool, like the first level where you're like over the water and uh, there's like islands and stuff. That looks really cool. But then like the following level when you're like in this, this forest, it's just a black field with a couple little sprouts of grass every once in a while. And it's just like it's really bland and boring. But for the most part, the game is not the most graphically intensive. It doesn't do anything to push the limits of the system at all. It's what I would call serviceable graphics. I mean, it just it gets the job done, and that's pretty much it. But like I said, this is the gameplay is where this game shines. It controls extremely well. The controls are tight for this type of game. It has to be, otherwise, you know, it's kind of like a twitch shooter. You have to have, you know, pretty good uh, controls in order to get anywhere in these types of games. Um, and and that's pretty much the the strong suit. If the controls were terrible, this game would not work. And it because of the controls are so well done, it is it is highly highly playable highly, and it is a lot of fun it's actually addictive every time even though i would like die i would always want to come back and play again the music is okay it's not the greatest the sound effects are kind of the same too it's just it it's very generic but like i said this one is pretty much just all about the gameplay if it wasn't for the gameplay being so damn good uh this could just be a generic run of the mill shooter instead and you just someone swapped out a spaceship for a dragon i did not like this game at all when i first had played it when i was a kid now i'm kicking myself for for thinking that I never really gave this game a chance, it turns out it's actually kind of fantastic. The whole fantasy aspect as playing as the dragon is really unique and novel. Outside of like, what was it, Legendary Wings where you're playing as like an angel in a shooter scenario like this, I think this is the only game where you're not playing as a spaceship or a plane or something. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool as far as I'm concerned. Dragon Spirit plays great, is super fun. It is a total underrated diamond in the rough type of game. Out of all the friends that I had that played Nintendo and everything when I was a kid, I was the only person that had this game, me and my brother. Even though we didn't like it back then, if we would have given it another chance, you know, and actually tried to play it, you know, and not judge it just because we didn't like what kind of a game it was, uh, I think that we might have eventually found a lot to like about it. So, Dragon Spirit is fucking amazing. I love it. It is super, super rad. Um, I don't know what the hell I was thinking back in the day when I, when my brother picked this one up. Um, I just, my tastes have obviously changed. I think it is awesome now. I can't get enough of it. I've been playing it pretty much on and off for like a month. It's just like, you know, I'm getting games, all the new games all the time, but I just keep coming back to this one. Maybe it was one of those games that just kind of flew under the radar and some people liked it, some people didn't. Well, you know what? I'm saying if you are a collector and you don't have this in your collection, you need to get your ass in gear and pick up a copy of Dragon Spirit right away. This game is, I can't praise it enough. It is so much fun. Um, even getting a complete in box, I mean, I found it really, really cheap. So it's not going to be money wasted. You're not going to be spending, you know, fucking Castlevania money on it. That's my review of Dragon Spirit. Uh, I hope you liked it.
If you have a game that you want me to review or a game that you think I need to purchase so I can do a review of it, let me know in the comment section below, as well as your thoughts on the show, what you want me to do, change, what needs improvement, what you think I'm doing right, what you think I'm doing wrong. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to hear from everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to get conversations going in those comments below. You know, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's converse. Let's, let's interact. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my official Facebook page, The Old Ass Retro Gamer. Um, I'll be your best friend. No, I'll just be your friend on Facebook. That's about it. So until I see you next time, this is Chris, The Old Ass Retro Gamer, signing off.